officially named by the World Health Organization as 2019-NCOV, the dangerous strain of coronavirus that began in Wuhan, China, has spread to more than a dozen countries around the globe, including the U.S. Penn State, with more than 40,000 students at its University Park campus and a large number of Chinese students, is closely monitoring the situation. Dr. Elizabeth McGraw, director of Penn State's Center for Infectious Disease Dynamics, says like many deadly Asian viruses, this one likely started among animals and somehow jumped to humans. Some of the ones that we've seen in the past that people might be familiar with are SARS and MERS. And SARS was also uh, coming out of bats, and MERS uh, was something that was present in camels. Once it affects humans, Dr. McGraw says containing the virus can be difficult, but measures are in place to do so. Um, you know, when we have travelers coming back from other parts of the world where they think they might be infected, they're being checked at the airports, they're being checked when they get off the planes. Um, and then if they do have the virus, then it's about managing their exposure to others. So I think there are a lot of practices to put in place. Although there are only a few cases in the United States and none in Pennsylvania, officials here say they're ready to control and contain a possible outbreak. Shelley Hafner, Penn State's infectious disease manager, says here in central PA, the common flu is more of a threat than coronavirus. If you're in Wuhan City, China, yeah, you probably have some deep concerns. But here at Penn State, not as big. So flu vaccine is still available at here at UHS as well as in pharmacies in the community. If you haven't had your flu shot, it's not too late, get it. In University Park, I'm Luke Locker for the Center County Report. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you did. For the rest of our newscast and featured stories, click here. And for sports, click here. Have a great day and thanks for watching.